All right, folks, welcome back to another day of challenging the robots. We're playing a match point challenge, and we are not clearly, based on the hand you're looking at over here, we are not playing a best hand tournament. We are playing in a normal bridge tournament. So uh, this was such a huge success last week that uh, I wanted to continue this. This is a cool idea because we get to kind of see real bridge decisions as opposed to declare play slash best hand decisions, right? So it's a little more realistic. Um, obviously, with the robots involved, we could get into some funky stuff, but uh, we're just going to do the best we can with what we're dealt, which is going to be a random hand every time. So uh, let's jump into this. We're the dealer. We kind of know what we're going to do. Oh, first, let me thank you guys. Um, I just passed 2 million views on the site last week or a couple weeks ago. It was 10,000 subscribers. This time it's 2 million viewers uh, or total views on the site. So guys, uh, what a dream come true, even a dream I never had, to be honest. I'm just happy to be putting this content out and I'll keep cranking it out if uh, you guys uh, keep watching. So don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, don't, you can super like now as well if you want to donate to the channel. Uh, feel free to do any of that. Not necessary, uh, but always appreciated. And I'm going to pass. <laughs> we have a four count. Uh, the, the interesting part of hands like this, and uh, I take back from my poker days, the best tip I ever got from a, a really good poker player was uh, when you when you fold your hand, you know, you're technically done playing, but really the game starts when you sit down and you can practice while you're just sitting there doing nothing. Well, here in bridge, your hand really will always matter. Uh, so it's not just important to practice. Uh, don't lose any focus whatsoever. Think about the hand, think about what's going on. So here, just as a practice, I would be like, okay, Lefty has an opening hand and three plus clubs. Righty has four plus spades, six plus points. Now, I, I can definitely deduce that each of them has more than that, but we'll find out right here. And here, three clubs. Okay, left-hand opponent has some sort of six-card club suit and like 16 to 18 points. And East is bidding three no trump, and it seems like that's where they're going to play. So now when I'm at my opening lead, which is a very crucial part of the hand, I can now at least be a little bit further ahead in my thought processes, which means that uh, here's what I would think. I think lefty has a long club suit and a very good hand, obviously. Righty probably only has four spades, but could have a five card spade suit. Um, I wouldn't expect them to have more than this, though. They would rebid their spades. Um, and here the question is, what are we going to lead? Well, I'm going to lead the Jack of Hearts, even though the Six of Hearts is technically the correct heart. Um, I'm guessing Lefty doesn't have length in a lot of these suits, so I'm not too worried about getting finessed, even though it's possible. Uh, and I have the Eight of Hearts, which means that if the Nine is out there, uh, outside of ours hand, our hands, our, ours in partner's hands, then we might be in trouble, but I might be behind it if East has it. So I think all signs point to the Jack of Hearts. If I didn't have the Eight, I would lead low, Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what we buy here. We we buy not the nine of hearts and dummy, which is good. So before we do anything, and this is a classic complaint for bridge base slash playing with the robots, is it's too fast. Well, there, that was fast for even me. I was talking, I wasn't paying attention, so I want to go back and look at this trick. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go and, and press... Uh, the trick basically and, and here it is I can to see the contract or see the auction I can press the contract and to see the trick I just press the the trick counts there and here I led the jack it went low low ace there we see that beautiful and now they're leading a club not surprisingly right uh, dummy had uh, 6 7 10 40 17 high card points uh, we started with four not surprisingly not too many that's 21 and east you know is, is at least nine you would think or a good eight to accept the invite over here so partner you know has some values over there right if we had 17 that lefty started with we had four here that's 21 let's just give this player like nine i mean they certainly could have more but let's give them like towards their minimum that means partner has about 10 so the more east has the less partner has uh, let's try to figure out what their points are. Well, we know it's not the Ace of Hearts. Um, it could be the King of Clubs, right? We're about to see if that's a possibility. And then we'll see what they return. But at this point, it looks like we've given them enough tempo to at least set up some clubs and take some tricks. And here's that King of Clubs. We know partner doesn't have the Ace of Diamonds, right? They wouldn't be uh, leading this towards the King. 
So here, now it's all about watching what's happening. Okay, so let's first off, let's just take a review. Righty bid spades and has now shown up with exactly three clubs. How do I know that? Well, I had three, <clears throat> dummy had six, and my partner only had one, right? So we know that Declare started with three clubs. Partner's playing the seven of diamonds. I don't know if that has any, this is fine. Thank you, I'll take my trick. <laughs> so it looks like they're trying to develop a trick in that spade suit um, before they're, they're out of it. I'm just gonna just play a heart here, it seems safe. I don't wanna give up any extra tricks in diamonds or anything like that. Uh, and here I'm guessing this is ace of diamonds, pitching a heart, yeah, there it goes. Okay, pretty simple. Thank you, Robot, for not making it too hard for us, right? <laughs> They're just going to play clubs from the top now, and we can concede. And when they give me the chance to do that, I will do that. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm coughing into the microphone here. <laughs> so, so let's just take a look and make sure we didn't do anything weird on this last one. And here it's just basically going to be about them setting up that club suit and, uh, and taking as many tricks as they can. They're going to take five clubs two diamonds for seven two hearts for nine and two spades for 11 they did a good job of setting up that spade suit so they're uh, all power to the robots they could also finesse the spade as well uh, and maybe if they do that and set up some pitches they can do slightly better in certain scenarios but it doesn't look like they would take that chance at either table because it's the same declare in both spots so here looks like a match point chop there we hope now let's take a look at board number four Ooh, one spade past two spades to you. Make your bid, folks. What do you do on the sand? This is an interesting one. You have 14 points. This is a non-best hand tournament, right? So anybody could have anything here. But what the heck would you do? Well, you would want to double, but your best suit is spades, right? Your partner shortens spades. That's the key thing here. Um, the problem is it's not likely partner has a bunch, but if they have minimum hands, if it goes check, check here, or pass, pass, excuse me, I'm not, I'm not playing poker, I'm playing bridge. Uh, if it goes pass, pass here, partner might be balancing with some sort of marginal hand that has spade shortness. But here, I don't think there's any reason for us to get in, even though we hate to see like a nice hand not have anything to say, but really, what would you do, right? What's, the, what's your preference outside of two spades? There isn't really one. And here, knowing partner short, we also now know they don't really have uh, um, that much of a good hand here, although they're leading the king of hearts. Interesting. We're going to give them a, a, a we like it. And now we'll play a heart. And whoa. So wait, partner had king, queen, sixth of hearts, and they did not balance on this one. And they were void in spades. Wow. That's kind of crazy here. Let me just take a peek. One spade pass, two spades. So that's all partner has, by the way. If you think about it, we had 14. <clears throat> Our dummy over here had seven. Um, did they just have seven? Did they have more than that? What did they have over there? Um, what was their hard position? No. So they give them seven, 14, that's 21. Left-hand opponent give them 13, that's 34. Partner has about like six points on their on a good day. Um, and they've shown up with King Queen of Hearts, so five of those points and a void. So we can't expect much else from them. Unfortunately, the robot has all this information as well. So they're going to know what's happening over here. Actually, I'm sorry, the robot doesn't have this information at all. <laughs> they, we didn't reveal any of this during the auctions. This is good. Uh, what do we want to do here? We want to club through, so we want to let partner win this. Get that club on the table. I guess not. <laughs> They're going to put us on lead. Thank you, partner. All right, so we'll lead a heart. At least we're shortening left-hand opponent a little bit. Now they have to lead a club. Boom. We'll take it. Now the question is, what do we lead back? Well, we don't want to lead spades more than once. Uh, here, let's see if we can get them to win that ace of clubs and dummy. Maybe they only have one chance at this, but they're going to play. Oh, they did play a low spade. Good. Thank you. Weird. I guess they know we can just cover the jack of spades and they can't enter dummy again as well. All right, so there it is. We Watch this, guys. We can we can play low and they win the deuce of diamonds. Here we can rough and then it's the same, same change here. So I don't know. I think I went very quickly through that. Let's jump into the replay here and see if there's anything else we could have done. 
I think the only way we're going to really be successful is if partner um, gets off to a club a little earlier. And let, let's just take a peek here. Um, here's the opening lead, King of Hearts. And let, let's just take a peek here to the next trick. Yeah, okay. So a club right now would be amazing because now we get, get to kind of set up all of our tricks or all the tricks necessary before Declare gets to do all their dirty work as well. And we also get to uh, knock that entry off of Dummy before Declare can solve the entire spade suit. So, so at this point, if Partner did lead a club, we were going to be in some business. Um, the rest of this hand, let's see if we had any other chances here. Uh, ace of spades and now here as long as they start playing diamonds it looks like they're going to be okay and that's exactly what they decide to do there's partner hopping up with their diamond and then oh well well guess that hand is over <laughs> unfortunate All right so here uh, a, a little earlier on that play if we get off to the club switch but to be honest we lost this in the bidding uh, our partner has to be in there at some point with this hand you could bid three hearts with this hand over one spade and i'm talking about the north hand obviously here folks or to be honest if you're if you're that timid if you don't want to get in there with this hand that's fine but when it goes one spade past two spades pass pass to you you know many things one of them is partner has some values so just make your natural bid. Three hearts is your natural bid. Don't give partner the chance to play diamonds maybe when you have a king, queen, 10, nine, six of hearts. So I'm not sure what the robot's blockage is here, but it's a little bit in, I mean, th this is why we should be confident passing the south hand. Uh, we should be confident passing the south end because we, we should know our partner is gonna balance when they have a hand like this. That's what I was discussing during the auction itself. And it turns out <laughs> Partner just isn't that partner, okay? Unfortunate uh, here, but you should have confidence with partner uh, that they should be bidding with that hand, and so should you. All right, let's see where we're starting off tomorrow, uh, which will be Wednesday. Okay, make your choice, guys. We'll pass a club to you. What do you do with this hand? And we'll see if that's what I choose to do tomorrow, folks. And don't forget, uh, the complete guide to doubles is out on bridgelesson.com. I didn't bring my advertisement along with me, but... It is a wonderful course that will give you a very good understanding of the doubles you should be playing in your partnership and a ton of practice with it. And we'll have a live practice session this Wednesday. So if you haven't picked it up yet, grab it today. I'll put the link into the video description, guys. I will see you either in this tomorrow or throughout that course and whenever you guys get a chance. So take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.